Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I create images similar to these. These are most recently created using the uh, Bevel Reflect logo script, uh, the bat logo, Mandela, the epic owl, a tree, some Christmas holly, a Mandela, another Mandela, another Mandela, some uh, poinsettias, and again the Batman logo. But those images were created using this script, which is on their filter, alpha to logo, bevel, reflect logo. That's the dialog there. Okay. Now, the first thing you want is a nice clean line art. And once you have a nice clean line art, which is usually it usually has a white background to it so let's just fill this in and merge this down what I usually do is go layer transparency alpha uh, color to alpha which is default white click OK and there it is. Our line art is just the black lines. Okay, now we start by, this is the easy way by the way. I'm going to show you uh, some uh, slightly advanced techniques that aren't really advanced, just something I do to help uh, facilitate the script to make the contours I'm looking for. Anyway, you start by selecting the fuzzy select tool and making sure your uh, mode is set to add to current selection. So this enables you to make more than one selection in one go. So here we go. We're going to select here, 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 and all these chest squares there. Now you see this foot is in the way of that one selection and I want that to be uh, I don't want it to be cut off in that uh, shape that pointy shape so I'm just gonna add by using the uh, free select tool I'm going to add more to that selection by clicking add to current selection in the mode for the uh, lasso uh, the free select tool excuse me so I'm just going to go down and click here trying not to be too precise this is going to be hidden by the foot but with that pointy area there that won't look too good so I'm just going to extend the bottom one also to include that, all that uh, covering the foot, but that's okay. We just create a new layer, doesn't matter, I'm not going to name it, and I'm going to fill it with white. Okay. Now it's filled with white. I'm going to also be assuming that you know how to use most of the tools, so I'm um, going pretty quickly because I have uh, only a certain amount of time, but anyway, uh, choose your colors. Now, I'm just going to choose a gradient. I want to make up something that's orangey and yellow. Orange, not orangey, but there's a light. See how that looks? That looks pretty good. That's for the chest area. Now we'll just run the script. Bevel reflect logo on the script. Now I'm not going to go into any real detail about all these settings because I'm going to use default but mainly uh, smoothing has a lot to do with the size of your selection. These selections are pretty large. If you want to limit the smoothing you can turn the smoothing down on smaller selections. I uh, found that helpful but anyway I'm going to leave everything at default as you see the gradient here is set to the same gradient which is here that I selected and I'm going to click 
OK and it's going to run on our chest area. There we have it. Select none. Now you see that the uh, fill is not complete because of the smoothing. The smoothing has um, blurred out some of the uh, color. So I'm going to just duplicate that layer. And by doing that, as you can see, if I click it on and off, you'll see it does cover up a little more. But I'll just Gaussian blur that by one or two. Let's go with two and duplicate this layer, blurred layer, once more, well, again, merge down and duplicate it again, and then merge all that down, and that's what we get. Now if we zoom in a little further, it has a little bleed of the orange outside the line. So what we can do for that is to go back, could have saved the selections to channel and then redid it that way, but I'm just going to do it this way. Just select all these chest areas, these chest squares. Oops, I selected the foot. I'll do select that one, select that one, and select grow by one. That'll move the selection out to nearly center of the black line. You see there's one little dot there that's not quite covered. That's going to show up in our bevel reflected uh, area, but I'm just going to go select, invert the selection, and clear that Clear. Now there is pretty smooth full uh, fill with uh, the bevel selection logo script. Now I'm going to do the arm here just to show you how to, how I did that, or maybe I should do the foot because that's how it see it's covering. But you see, with when I made that selection there of that and extended the selection it made the uh, squares kind of uniform if I had left it at a point it would be different a different shape entirely but let's just select the foot area and extend the toes out from this to give him some toes and to make the uh, shapes that are going to come from the script a little better. Now let me just do that a little better than that. Okay. There. Now I have the uh, foot selected. Now what I'm going to do is go above, create a new layer above our chest area, fill that with white and choose a gradient, say dark green with a lighter green color. Um, let's try that one. See how that looks. That looks okay. Maybe a lighter color green like that. Okay, and we're going to run that. On the foot. It's already selected because I chose the uh, foreground to background gradient here and it's all default as before so select OK here goes there OK select none now again if you look down you'll see that some of the areas are not 
full uh, uh, fill where and fill the outline want, want to fill it to the outline so uh, again I duplicate it and filter blur Gaussian blur by two yeah okay I duplicate that a couple of times now merge all that down make sure you're merging the correct layers <laughs> There. Okay, merge one more. There. There's the foot. Now, just to be sure, we could duplicate it one more time. Merge down. Now, just go back and select the inner portion of the foot. Select grow by one. And go back to your bevel reflect logo. Layer and select invert the selection and clear it. And there it goes. The foot is over because I put the layer. Now it'll create these uh, spherical uh, emaps. I usually delete them and delete the uh, all these layers that are not visible just to uh, keep the weight of the image down because as you work the image gains uh, megabytes it gets larger and larger and larger also another thing you can do is select the layer and go layer auto crop the layer now also layer auto crop that will all see 80 80.7 megabytes now if I layer auto crop 74 you see I've already downed the image weight anyway but that's about it that's basically how I do it uh, if you have any questions let me know I'll answer them as best I can anyway thanks for watching